Okay, this is advanced filters, and uh, we'll show you how to apply some advanced filters. And there's two ways that I'm going to show you, and I kind of like one way better than the other, but I'll show both of them to you. First thing we're going to do is Control J. Try that again, Control J, to create a new layer. And I'm not going to name this one quite yet, but I will name it when I'm finished. I'm going to go up here to the filters menu come down to artistic and click on color pencil and I only want to see the my entire screen here so I'm going to change this so we can see the entire screen once I'm in here it shows me the color pencil effect and I'm going to simply click on this little icon right down here where it says new effect layer and it's going to add it down here and now I'm going to choose a different filter I'm going to choose water color filter I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on this new layer effect and it adds it in here. So these two have been added and look at the kind of the cool technique that you get. If I turn this eyeball off, it's going to show you what if I were just to have the watercolor on and it takes a second to redraw and that's what that looks like. And if I were to click the color pencil back on, it's going to redraw that and now they're both back on. Simply click OK and it adds that to your image. I'm going to turn the eyeball off here, show you the way that I like to do it, and I'm going to create a duplicate layer, control J, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go filter, artistic, color pencil. I know what this is going to look like, so I'll click OK. It's going to show you once it's applied back in the regular image. And there it is. I'm going to come to the bottom layer back here and I'm going to go control J again. And let's turn this eyeball off. And come in here and go filter, artistic. And I'm, this time I'm going to pick watercolor. And I know what that's going to look like. I'll click OK. And there I have it. So I have this one is watercolor. So I'm going to double click on this here, change it to watercolor. This one here is color pencil. Change this one to color pencil. Turn the eyeball on there. So that's what that would look like. What I could do then is apply a mask to this guy right here. Come over here, make sure black is to the foreground. Make sure my paintbrush is highlighted. I'm also, I also have a border around my mask. And I come in here, and if I need to make my brush bigger, it's the right bracket key. And I simply just come in here and bring her back in only. Say I only bring her back in. And it's revealing the watercolor underneath. Now, isn't that cool? So it's just showing the watercolor, and everything else is showing me color pencil. And if I wanted to do something really cool with this galley, do the same thing. We'll make this brush a little bigger. And I will bring her back in. We'll just bring her little tutu and her head. And then if I come down here and do the same thing, and I add a mask to this one, and I bring this one and, and start clicking on here, it's going to bring the actual photograph back in. So I'm digging two layers down to bring the original layer right here. So you can do some really cool techniques with filters and masks. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.